Right. Alright guys, now that everything's all cleaned off and dry, uh, we're gonna work on assembling our hookahs. The first piece that you wanna work with when assembling your hookah is the base, which is what you fill with water. Um, and a lot of different people have different opinions on how much water um, or juice to fill and their hookahs and it really it's just a preference and the more you smoke you're gonna get a better taste and feel for um, just exactly what works for you but the way I, I usually gauge my water um, is I fill it up so it's it's right around halfway filled um, on the part that I can see or about a quarter of the way up on the stem um, the more smoke or the more water that you have um, the thicker the pools are gonna be but also the harder to pull um, and obviously vice versa with less water. So really this is just something that's going to take some work on your part but um, for beginners just fill it about halfway up to where you can see or about a quarter of the way up on your stem. Alright and as you can see um, we're right about halfway um, and it's okay if you don't have a whole lot of water or a little too much water too less you can always add more, you can try and see how it works for you um, and change it up. And one of the special things that I like to do with my hookahs, um, some people put ice cubes um, in their hookah, uh, in their base that is, uh, they say it helps cool the smoke, make the smoke thicker, and um, I, I really think that works. Um, so generally, um, after I fill up the base, uh, that's why I do it first, I put it in my freezer for a little bit in the top part to chill it out for a little bit before we smoke. After you've given your base some time to chill, if you've so chosen to do, um, the next step is to put your neck and stem onto the base. And again, this is going to just depend on how um, your hookah works or what, t what kind you have, but it should be pretty simple. Mine, uh, there's just some threads on the base, just screws in real nicely. Um, and you're going to take your hoses, and it should be really easy to determine what end goes into the base. Generally, a little bit bigger, and they have a little black thing on it, so you know where to go. Just push it in there, want to make sure that they fit nice and snug um, so no smoke gets out while you're smoking. Uh, if they're not fitting snug, it generally means that there's some water in there or some debris. So just clear that out. and shouldn't have any problems with either of these steps. Um, and after that's done, we are going to start working on the most important part of the entire hookah process, which is packing the bowl the correct way. And like I've said, packing the bowl is the most important part of this entire process. It's really going to uh, determine just how your smoking experience goes based upon the way you pack your bowl. Um, there are a bunch of different parts. Um, they go into this this process um, and a bunch of different pieces. Um, you're going to want to have some toothpicks uh, for poking the holes in aluminum foil, which you can get at any restaurant. They have a bunch of them. That's where I get mine. Um, you're going to have a bowl to mix your shisha up in. And uh, even if you're just using one flavor, it's important to have a bowl. We'll get to that later. Um, your shisha, uh, I prefer a Waha brand. It's from Iran. Really good. Um, it's not too expensive. Gives a good flavor, and it lasts for a long time. It burns really well. Um, obviously, your bowl and the aluminum foil, which goes over your bowl when you're done packing it. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is remove your shisha from its box or bag or whatever it comes in, and it looks really gross, and it feels just about how it looks. So, like to have some little paper towels around to help wipe off your fingers, um, and you're gonna want to take a little pinch. And with smoking hookah, less really is more. Uh, when I started out, I thought I needed to have a whole lot of shisha to get me smoked, but that's not true, and I will explain why. So, I normally take about a piece this size um, when I smoke, and again, this is gonna depend. Um, on how big your hookah itself is and how big the bowl is and you're going to want to drop it in your bowl and maybe kind of hard to see but all I'm doing here is mixing up the shisha getting rid of any big chunks uh, that may be in there and the reason you want to do this um, is because the looser the shisha is in your bowl the easier it's going to be for air to, to flow through it and obviously more smoke is going to be generated that way and um, you can really tell when somebody has a tight bowl because you're not going to be getting a lot of smoke, you're really not going to feel the flavor, 
um, and it's going to burn a lot faster and you're going to get that harsh taste, which we all hate, um, almost instantaneously. So you want to make sure that you get the shisha as loose as possible, take out any sticks or I know some brands you might even find little rocks in them. So definitely take that stuff out, you don't want to smoke that. Um, and when it's all said and done, it should be really loose, really easy to shake around and you are going to want to then take your shisha and gently just drop it in the bowl. It should just fall out of your fingertips. Um, you want to fill it around all the edges and because it's so loose, you really shouldn't even have to worry about packing it um, tightly at all. And um, what sometimes you may have some leftover shisha and what I do is keep it in a little Ziploc bag, seal it and it'll stay fresh or you can just put it back in your box and save it for later. And when your hookah bowl is done, you got all your shisha in there. Um, it should look like this. Um, full, but you can still tell that it's really loose and nice and separated. Uh, what you want to do next is get out your aluminum foil. You get a piece of aluminum foil that's about a dollar bill's length uh, long and then about a dollar bill's length wide. And just tear it off. Again, just about this size. And you want to take your hookah bowl, place this on top, mash it down. Um, and this is very important. When it's right here, you're going to want to twist it just like this to make sure it's on there nice and tight. And you really want this top part of your bowl to be smooth and without many wrinkles. Um, and if you do have some wrinkles in your bowl, that's fine. Um, just smooth it out before you put it on there and you'll be good to go. Now, after you get your aluminum foil on the bowl, you want to take a toothpick. Um, I think these are from Applebee's, so cross to Applebee's. Okay. Now, take your toothpick, and this is the most important part, guys, the way you place your holes and the number you have. A lot of different people um, do it a bunch of different ways. It's pretty much the way everything is in Puka, um, but this is the way that I've learned to get the best smoke. What you're going to want to do is you're going to have one ring around the outside and one more ring on the inside with a hole in the center. So I'm going to do it right here for you and show you what it looks like. So when you're done, you want it to look like this. Um, some people do it in kind of a pound sign symbol, um, but again, the way I do it, two rings around the outside, one hole in the center, and you'll be good to go. And the last and final step of the hookah assembly process is getting your coals lit. Uh, right now I'm using Exotica Easy Light coals. Um, they just look like this. Little tiny coals. Don't use real charcoal that you buy at the store. It's very bad for you. Um, you know, I take your coals, and some coals light with lighters. Uh, the ones I'm using right now, you need a light on the stove. Um, but yeah, uh, for hookah my size, like I said, two coals. You put it on the stove, and you know it's done when it's um, either on fire or red all the way throughout. Um, when that's good, we will put all of the hookah together, and we'll get started smoking. Like I said, the way you're gonna tell that your coals are done is when they're nice and golden all the way throughout. Um, you're gonna wanna place your coals on the outer edge of your hookah bowl and let them get going for a little bit. Let the uh, shisha start cooking up a little bit. And as I mentioned, one of the best parts about smoking hookah is the social aspect of it. Here's my good friend Ed. Oh, you look good, Ed. We smoke <laughs> hookah. And uh, so hopefully, guys, um, all the tricks that I've showed you work out for you and you'll be able to get some good smoke out of it. Today.